What's going on, everybody? Chad Belly with the Foul Life Television and Banded Brands. My good friend, Chad Money Mendez, UFC Fins and Feathers Guide Service. What we're doing today is we're living the provider lifestyle. It's after the season's over and we have all of our bounty. Some of it's been frozen, some of it's fresh. We're gonna teach you guys a couple recipes today. The first one that we're gonna start with is a red meat, a venison dish, and a wild sheep dish. We have Chad's California blacktail that he harvested in 2019. Yep, yes sir. That was the one that I uh, got in Northern California. Northern California Northern blacktail. California. This is Northern Nevada desert wild sheep. So two different types of red meat. We're gonna utilize a brand new line of rubs that Chad and I are getting ready to launch under the provider series along with the cookbook. We're gonna pair the sheep and the deer meat with asparagus, green onion. It's gonna be unbelievable. We're gonna have the Pro 780 going with Traeger. We have a Traeger at every one of our hunt camps throughout the country. We're excited about it guys. So we're gonna get started with how we put the dry rub onto the deer meat, onto the sheep meat, and then we're gonna put it onto this Pro 78. We have it at 165 degrees on a super smoke setting. So we're gonna smoke it out for about 40 minutes and then we're gonna grill it to its perfection of about 133 degrees internally. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Typically take mine off at about 130, 133. I like to smoke mine. If you guys have enough time, one of my favorite things to do with any type of wild games, the red meat is perfect for this, is I season it, and I'm gonna smoke it till it hits about 115. I'm more of a medium, medium rare type guy. Um, a lot of guys, wild Most game are rare, but I'm more of a medium, rare. medium rare. You wanna eat about 133 degrees. Yep, exactly. So I usually take it off about 130 and I'll cover it and let it sit or just let it sit for about five to 10 minutes before I slice it up. One thing I wanna point out, Mendez, is if you guys can see this, you guys and girls out there, how well the meat is taken care of from the field to when we prepare it on for the table you can see that we get all the fat off of it we get all the tendons cut out of it and we really try to do our best to get as much of the fat or the membrane off of the meat so you take away a lot of that chance of gaminess being in your meal once it comes off of that grill so again we're going to smoke these on 165 degrees on the pro 780 we're going to take them off we're going to reverse sear them it's going to be unbelievable medium rare Let's get started. What, what, what rub you want to use on this? Man, I think we're going to go with, I'm, I'm really digging. This the, is the drop the, tine right here. Okay, the drop tine. We call it the deer seasoning. Yeah. Um, we got a solid mix of sweetness with a little bit of. It's, this is how I explain it. It's robust on the beginning, and then it's got a real mild aftertaste. I know that sounds funny, but man, doesn't it smell no, good? I, that, out of all the ones that I tried today, I think this one is still probably my favorite. So let me see so, how you put it on there. How much all right, you put so on there? I like to go olive oil first. Um, basically just kind of add as a, a, a binder here. Um, you know, wild game is extremely lean typically. Is binder a big word for a UFC yeah. fighter? It is, that's a big one. <laughs> this <laughs> guy's such a... <laughs> so I'll just coat it in olive oil on both sides. God, that olive oil smells good. Mm -hmm. And then basically I coat these suckers pretty well especially on a piece of meat like this where I'm gonna slice it into um, you know, little, little slices. You're really only getting that seasoning on that outside layer, which is not much. So don't and be Remember, there's, don't no be salt, there's no salt. There's very tiny bit of salt in these rubs that we're coming out with. So don't be afraid to get Coat that flavor on there. Massage it in there a little mm -hmm. bit. All right, just nice and coated. All right, once that's done, we're just gonna, like I said, throw that sucker on the smoker. I let this hit about 115 internal temp, uh, just smoking. So something that size most likely will take about an hour. Um, 40 minutes to yeah, an hour. Yeah, 40 to an hour, and just keep a close eye on it. Wild game will cook extremely quick. It's lean. Um, if you're not paying attention, it will dry out. I've done it many times. So let's get this sucker on the grill. So Chad, what he, what he used on that again was the drop time rub that we'll be coming out with at the provider. What we're going to go with on the sheet meat, I'm not going to use a binder, as Chad would call that, olive oil. I'm going to go with our crosshairs rub, and it's a very, it's a pretty strong rub, so you don't need as much of it. But man, is it loaded with flavor. Yeah, that's great. I just try to use that massage method, rubbing the meat down a little bit, letting it get down into the meat, pressing it in there, flipping it over, adding some more to it. I'm real simple with red meat. A lot of people are salt and pepper. I like a dry rub. I don't use a lot of binders like Chad did with his deer, but this sheep, uh, I think it's gonna be tremendous. A lot of, uh, you know, wild sheep gets a bad rap as a whole, and it can be unbelievable. But again, with wild game, you wanna make sure that your field 
processing, the dressing of the animal, everything that happens once that animal is harvested ethically, you want to get it on ice, you want to get it out of the sun, you want to make sure that that meat's taken care of 100%, and you're left with this several months later, you're left with that beautiful piece of meat off of a desert sheep out of the state of Nevada. So we're going to get these on the, the smoke right now. Boom. Looking good. So with our asparagus, we have it on one of the veggie trays that Traeger makes. It's awesome. Real easy to use. We just take a little bit of lemon, douse that with the fresh lemon juice, take a tiny bit of olive oil, and you can see we have a tray underneath our veggie tray. There'll be ex excess oil that runs off of it, but just rub those in that oil on both sides. And then the rub that we use on this is one of our lighter rubs that we're coming out with. This is going to be called the Migration. We use it a lot on waterfowl, but it's unbelievable on vegetables. It has lemon in it. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set those on the top shelf at 300 degrees in our Traeger right here. And just let them take their time. You want to serve those with a crispiness to them. Our green onions, we're going to hit those about the last 10 minutes of our cook we'll put them in get a little smoke on them in the traeger little olive oil on those and they'll be perfect for the plate so there you have it real simple recipe we'll get that deer off of there in a little bit we'll reverse sear it serve it 133 degrees internal temp again and we'll see who's tastes better the binder all right. of olive oil against just a little bit of the crosshairs dry rub <laughs> you don't want none of this bro <laughs> dude you've lost it bro. <laughs> this Ah, uh, right, while that beer's smoking out and that sheep's getting smoke on it, Mendez. Sweet potatoes. Let's do it. Healthy, delicious. All I do is I take them, I wrap them in foil just like those three are. Easy peasy. I put them on at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. I take them off when they're softened up. I add a little bit of local honey, maybe a tiny, tiny bit of brown sugar once in a while. Yeah, I do the brown and sugar. Smoke it. Sometimes I don't even use a fork when I eat them. I oh, get yeah. into that perfect tenderness and just nab it like it's a Nerf football, which hoot, hoot, hoot. you don't even know how to <laughs> I'm not a football, football player. I would work <laughs> you in football. On the gridiron, dude. All right, let's get you didn't play on. football. Oh my, dude, kill those pipes. You look like a baseball kind of guy. Oh, yeah, I can hit bombs too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch out, dude. Let's take the temp on Sheep is at. Perfect. Look at that, 114, the deer. Oh, that's ready for the reverse yep. sear. Now All what right. we got going on, and keep in mind when you reverse sear, we choose the reverse sear, our good friend Chad Ward at Whiskey Bent Barbecue, actually our partner in the Provider Cookbook series, he taught me this reverse sear method, and I know it's been around for years, but we started doing it about three years ago. We utilize a Traeger Ranger at 400, 425 degrees. It's sitting there waiting for us. If you don't have a Ranger with a searing plate in it, you cast can iron. use a stove top, right, yeah. with cast iron. Probably even just use a, a hot pan. I think I've hot even pan. done that before, but cast iron obviously is a little bit better. I love cooking uh -huh. cast iron. Is this thing nice and hot already? Oh yeah, she's ready. All right, coming in hot. And when oh. it's this hot in a reverse sear, you're going at maybe three minutes a side. We're gonna take it off at about 128 degrees, somewhere right in there. And then we're gonna let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and we're gonna slice it against the grain, always against the grain and serve it right around 133 degrees, medium rare. It's gonna be awesome. That right there is Chad Mendez's Northern California black-tailed deer that he was lucky enough to harvest in 2019. Next, we're gonna take these sheep that we harvested in the state of Nevada in 2019. This is wild. Get them on there. Desert sheep. Who harvested that sheep? Jim Ray. Oh yeah. How beautiful is that meat? That's awesome. Huh? Look at this. You should have that nice smoke ring on it, especially oh, thinner cuts like this. Look at that. Yeah. A little smoke ring on there. Yep. Press them down. All right. All right, time it. You know how to tell time? Ready, go. Now, what we like to do with our, like we said, we like to mix vegetables as our complex carbohydrates when we have high protein meat. And so what we're going to do is we're going to utilize Chad Mendez's ears as cauliflower, <laughs> and we'll get some ranch. <laughs> Let me get a bite of that. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's... He's always talking about my ears, but look at his. <laughs> look at these things. They're paper thin. They can fly away in the wind with those that's things. That's because I, 
I had an operation to take my cauliflower ear out, all the cartilage, oh, yeah? and now people don't know that I was a wrestler. <laughs> all those years they of wrestling? Me, and hiya! <laughs> high crotch, low pick, Get ankle out. pick, <laughs> double leg, single leg. <laughs> oh, I don't? You want to wrestle, dude? <laughs> oh, you want to? <laughs> I just got four points on you. <laughs> To take this dude out. We advise not to fight around burning grills, no sharp good. knives. We are professionals. Well, he's a professional fighter. Yeah, he, Let me check your Get out of here. How are these looking? About another bit. Yeah. I just want to see the bottom of that. Do that. Flip that sucker. Oh, flip it. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. We get, we're getting the, the char on there. These ones are a little bit thinner. Almost. Probably almost. a little bit more, yeah. Boom. Let's check the temp. Coming off. Coming off. Coming up. Wild sheep. Order up. Caps, yeah. You're out of the restaurant. Get that sucker off. Order up. Wild sheep. 31. Get it off. Order up. Wild sheep. Yep. Get it off. Order up. Wild black tail bear. Look at this. Woo. We're going to let that sit for just a couple minutes. You rest. The temperature. Let it Take rest. a load off. Just chill out, dear. Chill out, chill. sheep. <laughs> In the meantime, we're oh, going yeah. to get... Be careful, dude. You don't have tough skin. I think the uh, asparagus is done, asparagus too. Asparagus is done. Oh, I got you. Look at that. Spatula. <laughs> I don't want to. All right, look. Why that's resting and getting to temp. That's the jargon small talk. All right. Okay, this. single read duck call. This is the jargon live duck. All you're doing is like if I punched you in the stomach and knocked <gasps> all the wind out, and then you're whispering to me, Jack, I, your tight air comes from a diaphragm like you're singing a song. What's your favorite song? Um, Britney Spears, Oops, I Did It Again. Oops, I Did It Again. Okay? <laughs> okay. You're singing from your stomach. <laughs> Okay, so then it's just like this. Remember the fairy tale, three blind mice? Three blind mice. That's how Hen Mallard starts. Three blind mice. Now don't move your hand as much. What do you mean not as much? Don't, just open your hand, but oh, don't gotcha. flap it. Open it a little bit. You don't have to go like this okay. when you do it. It's weird. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty good feeder chuckle. You like it? I love it. I need it back. Give me that. <laughs> my, and also, my beard one, is way better, better than yours. <laughs> you got oh. grays. He's got Dude, grays in yeah, it. Yeah, because I'm mature, man. Whatever. Huh? <laughs> you gonna slice her up? Watch it. Grab me that honey. Ooh, yeah. Honey, honey. So I've done the brown sugar. Goodness. I've never done the honey, oh, but dude. I'm... The I'm, well, local honey is just oh. so good for your immune system, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, like butter. Slice open. Oh, that's some thick stuff, too. Easy. You don't want to overdo it. You're right, watching right, your carb intake, right. right? Here, let's do Go it together. Ahead. Okay. You squeeze that side. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What? <laughs> Teamwork. Makes the dream work. Done. That's all you need. Sweet potatoes, they're sweet enough. Okay? I want you to take a little bit of this. Asparagus. Some people cut their ends off first. I cut them off after we cook. This is my favorite part of the day. When I get to take a piece of mule deer meat against the grain. Watch this. Watch Ooh. this. Wait for it. Okay, look at this. Look at that. Yep. Oh my gosh. A little medium rare action. Try that, please. All right. Look at that. Talk to me. Oh, what about oh. that crust? What about that crust on the outside? Dude, that's amazing. Super tender. Little bit of the back strap. Mmm. 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 That's why we do it right there, baby. Watch this. Serve it up. A little sheet mm -hmm. against the grain. I mean, how about that knife by Gerber? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Oh. Go ahead. So try much that. juices. That's wild sheep. Stayed in Nevada. Killed it at about 9,000 feet. Mm. You gotta wow. Train. You got to train to hunt, bro. 
What we use a different seasoning on that one too, huh? Well, too. We use I the like crosshairs uh -huh. on that. We use the drop pine on that. Mm -hmm. Is that bomb or what? So good. That's mm. surprisingly really tender for sheep too. It's all in how you take care mm -hmm. of it from the field. It almost has like the consistency of like plank steak. Mm. Good for me, I bro. Present to you. Thank you. The provider plate of Nevada wild sheep, California wild deer. Traeger asparagus, <laughs> sweet potato. I'm How's excited to try potato? this honey sweet potato. Ooh, that's like a dessert. Is it good or what? That's really good. It's simple and it's healthy. Oh yeah. And it's clean.